Zimbabwe says farewell to one of its struggled stalwarts. John Como had been sick for years, but that did little to soften the blow of his death. Among those who came to mourn, South African Deputy President Khale Momutlante. The message from Zimbabwe's president, another plea for peace. The heroes who lie here would surely turn in their graves if we betrayed their sacrifices and trust through petty personal differences that serve only to weaken us. Let's carry this exhortation of peace, carry it with us to our party. Uh, so we can honor John Como by holding elections that are peaceful. John Como joins the likes of Joshua Como, Joseph Msika, and Solomon Mujuru in Heroes Acre. At 78, he was 10 years younger than the president. Robert Shibambu, Johannesburg.